Hello everyone. Taco, what did you do? Leave my avocado alone. The avocado. Welcome back to my avocado. <laughs> Wait, is it avocado? Avocado. Avocado. For shavakado. <laughs> Free shavakado. So everyone, today we'll be testing some things again. Sponsored by TikTok. No, I'm just kidding. This is not sponsored, sadly. We're gonna try some stuff which I saw on TikTok. <laughs> I love to do that. I don't know if you're familiar with the food trends on TikTok, but I am very well familiar with all of them. <laughs> There's so many different things I saw on TikTok, food related, which are like super hyped and I see them literally everywhere. And I'm always like, no, no I'm not gonna eat that. I I'm not gonna eat that. Why would, I, why would I make that? I'm gonna make that. So today we will be testing some things out, some food combinations, some cooking recipes, and some really crazy things. I look so good with this knife. <gasps> I'm gonna get demonetized if I show a knife. You never know these days. I just wanna mention that I've never tried any of these foods I'm about to try. Like this is gonna be my first impression of everything. This is my working space today. There might be some stains. The first thing we're gonna be making is this. If you love garlic, this technique is going to change your life. Fill a saucepan up with peeled garlic and cover it with oil. Place the garlic in a 200 degree Fahrenheit oven for three hours. And I know it sounds like a lot of time, but you literally don't have to do anything besides stick it in the oven. It's called garlic confit and it's going to reward you with roasty, toasty, smashable, spreadable garlic cloves that do not leave you with dragon's breath. Pour the confit and the garlic laced oil in a resealable jar. Keep it in the fridge for at least a few months. This will last a long time. If you don't eat it first. All I can say guys, I love the garlic. Did you understand that? Translation, I really like garlic. I mean, who doesn't like garlic? I only know people who cannot eat it because they will get the farts, but like who doesn't love garlic? This food trend is great because you basically don't have to do anything except kill garlic. <laughs> do that and also you said you're not gonna be left with dragon's breath if you eat those and like this just seems crazy to me imagine eating like a whole piece of garlic and then you still smell good afterwards mind is blown i have brought this a piece of wood and this garlic i don't like cutting garlic because one time i forgot to wash my hands afterwards and i was on my phone i could not get rid of the garlic smell anymore i had to throw that phone case away anyway that is such a cute tiny piece of garlic hello friend and we're gonna throw it into this pot <laughs> now this is gonna take longer than i thought it would <laughs> I mean, honestly, garlic is like the greatest invention ever. Why is it so important for humanity? I just really want to know if there's anyone out there who doesn't like garlic. Comment down below because I don't think you exist. <laughs> I did not bring all the patience for this today. Fuck, Vincent. Do you maybe want to cut some garlics with me? Well, you can tell a nice story about how you met your mother. I met her December the 6th. 1996. It was a place called Göttingen, a very small village full of very small people. I just appeared out of nowhere and I had some glitter dust sprinkled on my forehead. And my mom thought, that must be an angel. I'm gonna take her home. Turns out I'm the devil. <laughs> no, that's the tiniest thing. We're never gonna get rid of the garlic smell, smell, smell from my fingies. No. Fingies. No. Oh man, that is all shit on my fingernagels. I'm out. Let's go wash our hands. All right, now that everything is drenched in the smell of garlic, let's carry on with the garlic. Here we have all of them, and now I'm just gonna fill this up with olive oil. And I think that's great. Actually, it kind of looks like a like really, really bad kind of pee when you didn't drink enough water kind of pee. Now we shall place our garlic in pee at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 93 degrees Celsius. Bye, pee pee garlic. Three hours later. Three hours later, our garlic is done. I don't know 
about you, but they look a little bit more brown. They kind of look like nuts now, or like little kidneys. Lega. <laughs> Let's see if it's spreadable. Ooh. Ooh, and now it's peanut butter. That reminds me so much of my childhood. Because we all used to make bread on the barbecue and then put garlic on top and it was the most amazing thing ever and it tastes exactly like it. Mm, mm, mm. Vincent, can I be honest with you? I don't think we're smelling good after eating this. No one can tell me that this doesn't leave a horrible breath. I mean, it's not that spicy anymore, like this garlicky spice. Spice, but it's still very garlicky. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do something light and bright for our soul, which involves the avocado. It is gonna be Kourtney Kardashian's famous <laughs> avocado pudding. Avocado pudding for breakfast after a workout. I've had this almost every day for about five years. <laughs> Literally five years. This is like the greatest thing I've ever eaten. Like, I wish everyone understood how good this was. No, it's so good. I mean, we're gonna test if Addison is right and this is literally the best thing she's ever eaten. Let's test it. What you need for this is one avocado, some coconut milk and honey and that's it. Actually, I do not have honey at the moment. I only have a gave a gave and syrup, a, a gave syrup. Literally all we're gonna do is cut this avocado, put it in here, add a little bit of the um, coconut milk and put some honey in. A, a gave syrup. I get a gavu, a get a get a doodle. Let me quickly Google that vocabulary before I make a fool of myself. Agave. Agave? I don't think we have the best avocado here, to be honest. I mean, she looks okay, but she has a weird smell. My avocado's not good anymore. I got another avocado. Let's hope this one's gonna be good. <laughs> We got a good one. Okay, now we're gonna put the whole of a fucking kettle in there. Sorry for cursing. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Maybe I'm just gonna make half an avocado in case I just don't like it. We don't wanna waste food, you know. I'm gonna try to smoosh it as good as I can. I think she maybe put it in a blender or something. <laughs> oh, let's now add a little bit of coconut milk. I don't know about this. All the little avocado pieces in there, which I just can't make any smaller right now. There's a little not appealing for one's eye. Let's add a little bit of agave syrup. So here's my very appealing avocado pudding. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste great though. I don't know. Let me think. When I tried it the first time, it was gross. Then I added a little bit more agave syrup. I think you kind of have to get used to it, especially if you never eaten like a sweet avocado before. I personally only eat avocado on toast with salt and pepper or as guac. As guac. <laughs> And I've never eaten it sweet before, but I know it's like a huge thing, but I just really have to get used to it. I don't know. It's just really weird. You want to eat what Kourtney Kardashian eats every morning for the past 10 years? This is avocado pudding. I like it. Yes? But like, did she tell you the measurements as well? Okay, did you eyeball it? <laughs> so does she just like spoon this and like... Okay, so not on bread, not on anything. And Edison Rice said that's like the best thing ever and she wishes everyone could taste this so everyone would know how good this is. So I'm gonna give this avocado pudding maybe like a five out of 10 broccolis just because I know I couldn't eat a lot of it. I'm gonna put it into my fridge and I'm gonna eat it for breakfast, maybe with a little bit of yogurt, but like I don't know how she just gulps a full glass of this stuff in the morning i don't know all right now we are gonna try pickles with fruit rolls chamoy sauce and tahini <laughs> so basically you take a pickle you wrap it in fruit rolls and put it in the chamoy sauce i don't even know if i'm pronouncing that right chamoy Sh Shmoy, and then sprinkle some tahini over it i think this is like i don't know i don't know <laughs> let's Giddy. I really don't know if this is gonna be like super spicy. I'm not like that good with spicy, I can tell you. <laughs> but I'm good with pickles. <laughs> so we got 
our good old German pickles called Gewürzgurken. Mit Dill und Knoblauch. Wait, there's garlic on there? I've had enough garlic for like two years. We'll take our pickle. I have my unicorn tongue tattoos. Wait, tattoos? These are fruit roll-ups. This is really <laughs> not a German thing. Like we don't even have these here. I've never eaten these before because I'm also not like a huge fan of this kind of candy. Wow, it's a sticky bit. Wow, <gasps> there's my tattoo. Can I make give myself a tongue tattoo with this? The what? This doesn't even look edible. Ah. My plate has a tattoo now. I got this El Chilerito Shamoy Mango Sauce. Roll it in there. I mean, I have eaten like mango with chamoy sauce and tahini when I was in New York and it tasted really good actually. So maybe that's gonna be great. By the way, tahini is chili seasoning with lime and it's also not that spicy. So I think I'll be okay with this. Here we have my chamoy sauce, the fruit roll, tahini covered. Let's get into it. I gotta get it one more time. Hang on. This is fucking good. I feel like it could even use a little bit more fruit rolls even, but like this is fucking delicious. I fuck with this. Mm. The sourness of the pickle and then the sweetness of the fruit rolls all of a sudden, which is like way too sweet on its own, but like with all the other ingredients, it's like it all comes together. It does something in my mouth. I'm gonna be so sad if Vincent doesn't like this. I can only tell you, I give this food maybe even a nine out of 10 broccoli. It's like there's still a little bit of you know like you could still like you know and some broad scented candles against the garlic smell in here okay vincent have you ever tried fruit roll-ups i have not because i am from germany yes me too and here's your amazing friday afternoon snack uh, there's so many things happening i know <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just good. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> As you say in German, nichts für schwache Nerven. I just thought it was amazing because it has so much variety of and so many different flavors. Okay, thanks. The next food trend we're gonna try is probably the most popular one on TikTok. So basically what you do is buy jalapenos, you stuff it with cream cheese, and put takis in. If you don't know what takis are, um, they're very, very spicy um, rolled tortillas. I can eat it, but then I'll get a tummy ache afterwards. I still kind of crave the spicy food and it's so weird. I just really, really want to eat it, but I just know that my tummy is gonna hurt afterwards, but I still really like it. Really horrible fate. So I got jalapenos right here. Correct me if I'm wrong, Germans, but like it was so hard getting jalapenos here. I went to Rewe, I went to Edeka, I went to Lidl, I went to Real. There were no jalapenos. I don't know why it's so hard to get these. I had to go into to a shop which is specialized on spicy food to get jalapenos. I am so scared, yeah. Also now there's like different kinds of takis. Takis? <laughs> I mean, I just have these. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get them in Germany also. So these, is, these are the only ones I could get. It smells kind of like um, bell pepper. Maybe it's not that spicy. We got this, we got this. How spicy can it be? Three, two, one. <clears throat> Before I say something, I need to collect my saliva because everything is just running, flowing. I didn't know I have so much saliva in me. So listen, my friends. It was spicy. I feel like I didn't even taste the jalapeno spice. It could have also literally just been the bell pepper and I think it would still be the same spiciness. The takis just overpower everything. But I feel like if you're like really good at eating takis and it's like really easy for you and you love them, then I think this is amazing. I kind of want to try this with hot Cheetos now. The jalapeno itself really isn't spicy. Hot Cheetos version. I'm gonna finish this bitch. This is so good. Mmm. And here's the original footage of me slowly realizing I got to the really spicy part of the jalapeno and really getting hit by that spiciness like a truck.
Oh. Uh, the jalapeno just turned so spicy. <laughs> Why did it? Why did it do that? The spicy part of the jalapeno is like this part. You're probably going to laugh at me because you knew that. <laughs> Vincent also just said the spicy part of the jalapeno is like the insides, like this and the pits and stuff, which I cut out. And maybe there was like some more of that in here in this end bit. I suddenly got to the very spicy part of the jalapeno. <laughs> I have a headache now. The little dangly thing in the back of my throat is dead now. Oh lordy lord, I'm gonna have diarrhea for you. Thanks so much. <laughs> I would rate it maybe like a 6 out of 10 broccolis. I'm not like the biggest fan of these kind of takis and I kind of really want to try more but I just can't find them in Germany. The Hot Cheetos version with the jalapenos was really, really good but mainly because I love Hot Cheetos. I mean, it makes sense. So for my last food trend, I'm actually not going to make a food trend. I'm just going to make a recipe which I saw on TikTok which I actually wanted to do for ever but like you know i would eat like you just don't do it <laughs> i saw this jajangmyeon cooking recipe tiktok if you don't know what jajangmyeon is it is basically like a black bean sauce paste noodle recipe meal and uh, you see what he does here it's like um you do make some vegetables and then you just basically add some of the black bean paste and some potato starch and then it's just i really love jajangmyeon i love like um, I, I mean i never ate it like properly i just ate like the instant version of it like uh, the jajangmyeon and the uh, chapaghetti and i really like it but now i know that it's actually really easy to make and since we still got some time today i want to make it with you so Let's leave this cursed jalapeno place and get to the kitchen and make some jajangmyeon. Okay, so I don't have like all the ingredients he has, but I have the necessities. <laughs> Spring onion, onion, I do not have a zucchini, and I'm just gonna make some bell pepper and some carrots. I don't know, yeah, I'm improvising. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry all of this. Oops, there was a bit of bell pepper in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it, but we're gonna make the vegetarian version. I'm not gonna make any meat. So now we're gonna add the black bean paste. Yeah! We're gonna add two tablespoons. Is this supposed to look like this? I feel like it's burning. That looks like I burned everything, but I swear it's just the black bean paste, okay? <laughs> now two tablespoons of sugar. Did you burn it? No! Oh my god, it looks so burnt. Now two cups of water. We don't have water. Yeah. Are you getting a tablespoon of soy sauce? I'm getting a tablespoon of soy sauce. Oh, it's a different now. Oh God, what the fuck? This is all soy sauce. And now we're gonna make a potato starch slurry. Four tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of potato starch. That's gonna thicken up the sauce. Organic potato starch. Hello? Kakapo. That's what we want because it's gonna thicken up the sauce. I don't have the right noodles, I think. I only have these ramen noodles. I know these are not right. Please don't roast me. I'm gonna add the potato starch now. <gasps> it's already thickening up. Cool! Do you think that's thick enough? Wow! <laughs> it's it! <laughs> and uh, here we have the final jajangmyeon. Guten Appetit! Oh, buen provecho. It's good! I think this is even better than chapaghetti. I give this a 8 out of 10 broccolis. All right, after this amazing meal, I think we can end this video. It's been fun and also challenging. I'm just gonna go to bed now because I can't do anything else with this garlic taste. Your favorite thing was probably the avocado put in by Co 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 Courtney Kardashian, right? No. Anyway, I think that's it for this video. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John on TikTok. And the Naomi John on Twitter. I always want to like take the camera and drink. Imagine I would just drink this. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Oh, the for chili. Oh, wow. Bye-bye.